Hello, hello friends, how are you? My name is Ad Salem and today I'm going to tell you uh, what the name Asia means and where it comes from, okay? You know, we, we know that the, the, continent, the largest continent of the world is named Asia. So where do the word Asia come from? I'm going to tell you the story uh, about this, okay? You, the name derived from, uh, where do the name derived from uh, the word Asia, okay? The word Asia. So, uh, before 1000 BC, that's uh, before 1000 years uh, from the birth of uh, Jesus Christ, uh, there was a king in Ethiopia, okay? He was living here, here. this is Lake Tana, as a source for Blue Nile, as you know. Uh, so, uh, there was a king, a very known king living here, okay? This is a place where many kings and uh, queens of Ethiopia have been sitting and leading the whole area around here. Ethiopia was not uh, this one, actually. It was a very wide area. Apparently, the country known as Ethiopia is this one, as you can see. And you have, uh, uh, I think you know this. But in the previous time, including Eritrea, this, uh, the whole Red Sea and part of Yemen was also uh, part of Ethiopia. The name Ethiopia by itself is uh, a name that comes from uh, a man. Uh, who was the king of this, okay, this uh, area. He re renamed this area Ethiopia because uh, the king was uh, Itiel, okay, he was called Itiel. Itiel was uh, a man uh, with the son of uh, Melchizedek, was living here in Israel, okay. Israel, Melchizedek was uh, king of uh, Jerusalem, as uh, the Bible tells us. So Melchizedek has three sons, and one of the one of his son was called uh, Itel, Itel, okay, and his name was uh, Yob. Uh, so uh, we using here his uh, wife's name Yob, and he, his uh, uh, name It. He called this area Ethiopia, okay. It means uh, yellow gold. Actually, Ethiopia means yellow gold. This yellow gold was given to the Lord when our Lord Jesus Christ was born from the Holy of Holy Saint Virgin Mary here at Bethlehem. Okay, uh, that gold uh, has a long story, and I'm going to tell you this story in another video. Uh, so, this area is called Ethiopia because. There was a king who was sitting here at Lake Tana uh, at the source of the Blue Nile uh, and uh, it's, uh, because of uh, his name, okay? Now, Ethiopia is uh, this one and the area where uh, Ethiopia was given to uh, make his kingdom was starting from uh, Jerusalem to uh, the whole area, okay, including Africa, including Africa. You see, from this uh, holy city to uh, the west and even to south, uh, this area was given to Ethiopia, the king Ethiopia. Ethiopia was a king that was uh, uh, elected by God, okay? He has a long story, he has a very beautiful story, and I'm going to tell you this uh, story in another video. My uh, intention in this video is to tell you what the continent Asia means, okay? What the continent Asia means. This whole area is called Asia, but Asia uh, was previously uh, around here, around uh, Turkey, okay? This is called Small, uh, Small Asia, Small Asia, okay? But what do Asia, the name Asia mean? No one tells you. You can uh, try to search this word and uh, where it's derived from. 
but you will not find uh, no uh, nothing okay you will be uh, you having no, nothing okay there is no no, no one no um, history man no professor no one can describe uh, what the name asia means uh, so before 1000 uh, bc uh, there was a king like uh, ethiop okay ethiop was uh, uh, in the time of melchizedek in the time of abraham so it's a uh, it, it's, it's ancient time okay in the ancient time but before 1000 bc there was another king another king from this area it's lectana is a source of brunei uh, and his name was his name was uh, let me tell you his name i'll uh, type it his name was uh can be written as sia l sia l okay this name is a name that is uh composite of two words okay composite of two sia l l means the name of the lord okay the name of the, the lord this uh, is a word that is uh, the ancient word okay as you know uh, the lord the most high god is called l L, it, uh, as it's uh, pronounced in uh, uh, the angel's uh, name, okay, like Michael. In the name Michael, there is so called L sound, okay, that sound is the name of God. Uh, so, he's the this area was led by the uh, is a king, CIL, and he was a very strong man. He was a very strong man. He was uh, leading the whole area, the whole continent here, including Ethiopia and this small Asia. Small Asia. So when he even traveled to, uh, he traveled to, uh, starting from this, uh, he just moved to. Uh, Israel and okay, he traveled to uh, Asia, the continent Asia. Okay, he, uh, anyways, he traveled from this side to uh, this area, this area, okay, the whole area. It was at the time of King David. Okay, now uh, King David, the Bible's David. Okay, so. Uh, in Ethiopia, there was a king called Siae, and in uh, Israel, there was a king called David, okay, the father of King Solomon. So, when these, uh, the, the king of Ethiopia uh, tried to control the whole area, uh, very different and uh, multiple kinds of uh, ethnic groups were residing uh, this area and the, this uh, king was very strong and they uh, tried to call him Sia El but through time they uh, just uh, uh, bring the name Asia okay the name Asia is derived from uh, this the king is the king Sia El you see so uh he even tried to he controlled the whole area the turkey and everything everything here but when he tried to try to control israel at the time of king david the lord the most high revealed to him uh, in his dream and told him not to try to capture israel not to try to capture israel so he come back and when he come back at Gaza area, he even meet uh, the prophet Samuel. Okay, prophet Samuel, uh, the prophet that was uh, uh, who has lived at the time of King David, as the Bible describes. So he met uh, uh, prophet Samuel, and he told even the stars to. Uh, what has he saw in his dream 
and Prophet Samuel also told not to, to do to capture Jerusalem and Israel as the king in Israel is a very uh, good king. He is a king uh, David. Okay, so uh, Israel when they try to uh, pronounce this Israel in the Hebrew language and in other ethnic groups, they was unable to pronounce Israel and they try they later called it Asia. Asia and the name Asia comes. So this one is a small Asia and through time it in, uh, involved the whole, the whole, the whole area, okay? The whole area. This uh, continent, the largest continent is now still called Asia, okay? This is Asia. This is it. So the, the reason why this place, this uh, very wide place is called uh, Asia is because of the king of Ethiopia. He was a strong man, as I told you, and he lived 380 uh, years, okay, excuse me, 380 uh, years. He was living, uh, uh, actually he was, um, he believes that uh, drinking water from uh, big plants and uh, drinking clean water uh, enables someone to live a very long time. Life expectancy at that time is, uh, 100 years, 8 years, 9 years, but he has lived 380 years, and he was a long, he was uh, the king of the Ethiopia for a long time, for long, for a long time, and even even the constitution he has developed cannot be compared to the present time Ethiopian constitution. It was a very fair and fair constitution, and he has also set lots of uh, laws. Still, we are uh, governed by uh, the laws he has already said. Uh, even the flag, okay? The flag that Ethiopia is uh, using now was uh, clearly set by this king, a king that was, uh, that has lived before 1000 BC. Now it's uh, before, uh, from now, it's uh, 3000 years ago, okay? So, the name Isia was uh, as a result of the king he, who was living and leading, who was administering, who was the king of the Ethiopian uh, provinces at that time. Subscribe and uh, find some more very important uh, things uh, and uh, thank you very much.